I'm Barbie Lazaro, and I'm a real mom of Malcolm, a child with diabetes. Malcolm was diagnosed when he was two years old, and now he's 16, he's almost 17, and getting ready to look at colleges and universities and heading out of the house. And you're saying, what's it like to have a child with diabetes? Well, let me tell you, it's no walk in the park. When Malcolm was two, of course, I have to do everything for him. And now that he's 16, I have to worry for him in addition to just those teenage, testosterone-filled boy years, I have to worry about blood sugars when he's driving. I have to worry about all the other normal things that teens do, but more importantly, Malcolm has to worry about those things, and it's not a blessing. Let me tell you a little bit about what it's like for a child with type 1 diabetes. First of all, let's walk over here. If you can follow me, come on, come on, follow me. Follow me to my fridge. I just want to show you, I want to show you Malcolm's insulin. Here's Malcolm's insulin. There it is. All the insulin that Malcolm needs. And we have a lot of it because at 16, he uses a lot of insulin. Now, we're going to go down to Malcolm's room and I'm going to tell you about what Malcolm has to do every day to make sure that he stays healthy and alive. Come on, let's go. Here we are in Malcolm's closet. And every day, in order to stay alive, Malcolm checks his blood sugar five to 10 times a day to make sure he's in target or try to be in target. He has to change his infusion sites every three days and uses all of these antiseptic and uh, tape supplies to make sure that he doesn't get infections. And he also always has to have on him the ever-present glucose tablets in case his blood sugar goes dangerously low and he needs these to get his blood sugar up very quickly. Additionally, we have the glucagon kit in case of an extremely low blood sugar so that he doesn't die. So all in all, Malcolm has to do a lot every day and we have to have a lot of supplies to keep him alive. So why do I support the Diabetes Research Institute Foundation? because it's the best hope for a cure. And what do I want? I want a cure for diabetes, not only for our beloved son Malcolm, but for all of the other people struggling with this autoimmune disease. Help me support the Diabetes Research Institute Foundation, the best hope for a cure.